Time to open my last 25th anniversary Legendary Collection Yu-Gi-Oh box. Let's crack this open. Would like to get some more. I've really enjoyed opening this product. This has just been so incredible because this is my very first Yu-Gi-Oh product that I've ever opened. I haven't known anything about the early sets, especially except for like Legend of Blue Eyes, you know, the White Dragon Guy and Mystic Elf and a few other cards like that. Do you get some of these early big hitters all in promo form right here? And one of these comes in a quarter century rare technology, which is basically like a starlight foil but it has the 25th anniversary stamp on it. And then you get these six packs, each representing the very first sets in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, the very first six sets. So I really love that because I'm seeing so many cards that I haven't seen before. Let's see who we get here in our Starlight Quarter Century Rare Technology, Obelisk the Tormentor, Slifer the Sky Dragon. Gotten a couple of these in that foil treatment. Got the Winged Dragon of Raw, really like that. I'd like to get that one in that Full treatment. Blue Eyes White Dragon, of course. Oh, that would be so cool. I would love to get that one graded for the personal collection. That would just be really nice to memorialize the very first entry of mine here into Yugo. So we got Dark Magician, and then we got another card after this one. Red Eyes Black Dragon, and now here is our hit. Let's see what we get. Oh, yeah! We got Blue Eyes White Dragon in the quarter century rare technology. Check that out! We did it! The last box I had for this opening, let's go. This one is definitely getting graded. So happy with that one. That is just amazing. Now, as before, we're gonna open our Blue Eyes White Dragon pack last. Let's start with Invasion of Chaos. I wonder what the big hit is from this. I don't really remember from some of these later of the six sets. We got the Change of Hearts from Metal Raiders. That was a really nice hit. We've gotten a few other really nice ones too. We got Thousand Dragon. That was also from Metal Raiders. Really like that card, but I don't think we've gotten any really big hitters from any of the sets after Metal Raiders, actually, if I'm not mistaken. I have to go back and check on that. But we got Stealth Bird. Now, that's the first time I've seen that card. That's really nice. Still seeing cards that I have not seen before. Fiend's Hand Mirror. We got a Trap card. Have seen that one. So we're starting to see some duplicates. Starting to get a little bit familiar with some of these cards. We got Chaos Sorcerer. Earth Chant, I saw something back there. Let's see, we got our regular rare. So this is the Chain Disappearance. This looks really nice. I like the, the foil lettering they do on that. Oh man, that looks really nice. Now it's just a, what do you call it? A secret rare, right? It's or super rare, it's a super rare. One step up from that gold lettering. Dark Magician of Chaos, whoa. Now any kind of Dark Magician, right? Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, I think that's gonna be a hit. I have not heard of this person or seen this one before. I'm really happy that I love the art on that. So maybe that's going to have to go in the to be graded pile as well as some of the other hits we've gotten from these openings. And then here are our other cards after that hit. We got Spell Ruler. I cannot believe we hit that quarter century rare. Blue Eyes White Dragon. That is my first really premium Blue Eyes White Dragon. We've got a couple of the promos, obviously, from the other boxes. And that was really my first Blue Eyes. It was just one of those regular promos. But I cannot believe we got that Starlight Dragon. Uh, I guess, oh yeah, we got to get one from the regular Blue Eyes pack, right? The secret rare in there, that would be really, really cool. So not sure, you know, I've got the Dark Magician of Chaos. That's a nice hit from that invasion pack we just did. And now let's see what we can get in this uh, Spell Ruler is what it was called, right? Halzen Ryu, ooh, that's nice. We've gotten him before. He looks really cool. I like any of the dragons from Yu-Gi-Oh. All really nice. And then Malevolent Nuzzler, nothing fancy, no super rare, secret rare, anything like that, but still nice art on these cards. Just blown away by Yu-Gi-Oh. I think it's definitely always going to remain like a classic TCG. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pokemon, we got Dark Crisis and Magic the Gathering. I just don't think, I mean, there's ever going to be a day where Yu-Gi-Oh just stops. You know, it's very popular, still very distinct from the other two at the same time, and it's just so classic. I mean, this art is just amazing. The card design is great, and I think, I don't know anything about the gameplay, but it seems like it's different enough but also still fun in its own right that it's just, you know, I think it'll stand the test of time. I don't think there's going to be any worries about Yu-Gi-Oh! So maybe there's some uh, opportunity there with some of the early cards, especially. Guardian Bow, check that out for our regular rare. Really like the art on that. And the colors are always so, so amazing on these, like super vibrant. And they pick like just a few colors that really kind of uh, are the focal point. Let's see what else we got. Not anything else, just uh, Shinado's Arc. Very cool. All great cards nonetheless. Again, like look at these colors, like all those different blues there. It's like they take just a few colors that they select and really focus in on them. I just continue to be really, really blown away by the art and uh, especially how different it is from like magic with its typical, you know, fantasy fair and Pokemon with its like kind of 
uh, its own thing, you know, and it's just, it's very different. And the creature designs are, are insane. I'm actually playing Killer Instinct right now for Xbox, and it reminds me of kind of like that, because the, the Killer Instinct character designs are just, you know, it's something else. It definitely separates it from other fighting games, because they're just so out there. And there's a lot of outlandish, like really interesting designs in Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. So look at what we got here, Dimension Hole. First time I've seen that card, that's really nice. Very cool. And then Island Turtle. Not a hit, but love the art on that. Love the concept. Really, really beautiful. And that's something like I'd like to have like on my wall as a painting or something. That's pretty cool. Solemn Wishes. Now, I did get this in PSA from the original. I uh, got one of those. And I've, I've been doing that a little bit with some of these early sets. I'm looking for like commons and uncommons where I just like the art. All right, Metal Raiders. This is a really big one here. We've gotten a few hits. Thousand Dragon, Change of Hearts. You know, where I just like the art. And the cards are like, what, like for PSA 9 or PSA 10, they're like 50 bucks or something, something around that in PSA graded form. And just I'm picking those up and there's not a huge population of those. I mean, there's probably, I'm sure, a lot of supply out there, of raw cards in decent condition that could get graded. But, you know, you don't know that people are ever going to take the time to do that. I mean, they could just be like $50 low pop PSA cards for a long time. Love Soul Release. That is beautiful. Love to see that in Hollow. That would be a really, really nice card. And yeah, I think like, I thought they were just kind of nice pickups for me for kind of starting my Yu-Gi-Oh collection and something that is within reach, you know, Mass Sorcerer. I really like that. You know, you don't have to go for like, you know, the Mystic Elf or whatever, or Blue Eyes by Dragon right off the bat. They're just something that is uh, more reasonable for getting into Yu-Gi-Oh to start off. All right, so there's the rest of our cards. Cybersaurus, that's like, that's like a Killer Instinct character right there. So not crazy hits this time. We do have our last Blue Eyes by Dragon pack. We'll see what's in this, but we did get that. Dark Magician of Chaos. Really happy with that. That's the, the greatest hit we get in these. I'm I'm pretty excited about just getting the Blue Eyes White Dragon in the quarter century combined with Dark Magician of Chaos. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. And I think, you know, I, I'd be happy just to, to have pulled the cards that I've pulled in this series of openings of this box. So let's see what, if we can do it. If we can top off this series of openings, we opened, I believe, five boxes of this. Maybe it was another one or two. I don't quite remember. I have to go back and look at my videos. But Got quite a few good hits for someone just starting to get into Yu-Gi-Oh! And if we could get a Blue Eyes White Dragon in this last pack, that would just be, what? Well, how awesome would that be? With the uh, Quarter Century Rare one as well. Just really nice. Okay, final flame. And then here we go. Are we going to get it? Oh, no, but look at that. That's really cool. We got a super rare. Yeah, with that nice hollow flame swordsman. Wow, that's really nice. Okay, I'm happy with getting two regular hollow super rares from this with that Core Rare Blue Eyes. Really, really happy with that. Now we do have one of these that came in, a Cyberstorm Access Booster Box. I'm only opening this up on the channel, so make sure you look out for that. If y'all want to see some more of these boxes, I don't know if y'all seen enough of this by now. I know other creators have been opening this as well. Definitely let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to get some more. I have a blast opening this. This is a perfect amount of packs and uh, great enjoyment for me getting into Yu-Gi-Oh! I'd love to open up more. If y'all would like to see that, just let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you.